How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Farmy. So of course we ended up having a pullback going in on the Friday of no surprise because again, there's other plays inside of the market, aka the Trump stocks that have been giving out some really good returns. So it's taking the attention from traders and this is why as far as the volume is concerned and as well as the selling pressure, it is not surprising whatsoever. But of course, I want to make sure you guys are prepared for the coming week, especially going into Monday. Monday, so I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. And what are some levels to look out for, especially in a bearish case scenario and as well as in a bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on fin Intel taking a look at the short interest information. This is key because we want to know as far as shorts are concerned, are they continuing to be heavily vested in this play? Have they been decreasing their positions? We're going to find that all out. And then afterwards, we're going to take a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior happening on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when that is done, we'll be jumping into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for farming me let's see how it performed on friday so it ended up closing at 29 cents being down 7.09 percent on the low it tested 27 cents and then on the high testing 31 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 160.159 million shares and for the average volume over 10 trading days being at 115.651 million shares so right away we could see we did have above average volume on the day but we did deal with a good amount of selling pressure as well as we take a look at our chart which is a one-year daily chart we could see from the rsi down below it's right around 44.65 so yes, you can see clearly this does look like we are going to be going into a downtrend. And then when we take a look at our moving averages right here, you can see we're below the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. So whenever I see price action above all of the main moving averages, you already know there's more risk to downside pressure. So the next area of support that we have here on the chart for farming is right here around 26 cents. So if it ends up pulling back to this level on Monday, don't be surprised about it whatsoever. I want to make sure you guys are prepared. As far as if I'm going to be trading this, not really. Like I said previously, I don't like price action below the major moving averages. So now, as far as what we want to see, as far as for the bullish case scenario, you're going to want to see family jump back up, getting into that 31 cent range, which was the high on the Friday. I think it's very possible for family to do this, especially if we end up having that volume coming into the play. So most Preferably, I'd want to see family get back to the 21 day EMA right here around 33 cents. We were talking about that previously in prior videos, how that, hey, that's a solid area for farming. So I want to see farming actually get back up there. And then once it's able to get back up there, then the next area of resistance, which we know about for quite some time on this channel is right under the 100 day or so, let's just say right at the 100 day. It's around 39 cents, 40 cents. We're already fully aware of that. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for FAMI. So we can see here for the dark pool short volume ratio, it's at 32.56%. And then for the dark pool short volume being just over 34.1 million shares. Scrolling down further, the short shares availability is at 7.6 million updated 29 minutes ago. And then for the short ball free rate, it is at 8.31%. Scrolling down further, we could see from the history of the short volume ratio for the close of the 21st, which was on the Thursday, it was at 49.98. And then the close for the Friday that just passed being at 32.56. So we could see that is a dramatic difference when it comes to the overall short volume ratio. But one thing that doesn't change, family does continue to have short squeeze potential. We normally look for 21% or higher 
and since it does fulfill that criteria is why you want to keep an eye on it so now let's jump into the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for farmy so we can see here on the inflow it was nine thousand seven hundred and eighty nine and then on the outflow it was twelve thousand and twenty eight when we take a look at the breakdown on the large it was one thousand five hundred and ninety on the medium it was five thousand nine hundred and eighteen and then on the small it was two thousand two hundred and eighty one now when we take a look at the outflow side you can see on the large it was two thousand one hundred and four and then on the medium it was seven thousand four hundred and ninety five and then on the small it was two thousand four hundred and twenty eight when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you could see for October the 22nd being at 514.34 in regards to outflows. So when we go further into the breakdown, you could see here there was a lot of selling that was happening on the retail side. So we ended up having a surplus of outflows. But of course, you can see the difference is not that massive. And also when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we have a bigger difference here. We did have a surplus of outflows, so something to keep in mind. And then when we take a look at what was happening on the large of course the outflows ended up winning out as well so we had more institutions that were selling out of their positions but again i am not surprised by this whatsoever if you have noticed there's a lot of other meme stocks as well as penny stocks that have got a lot of attention as of late all the volume has literally been taken away and put into trump stock so if you haven't noticed this trend, this is what is happening. But again, I know there's some people who are loading up on shares, taking advantage of these pullbacks. Farmy got down to like the 27 cent range. So I wouldn't be surprised if people were loading up on that dip because they're seeing, hey, this stock will pick back up after everything kind of cools off a little bit. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for Farmy, what I want to see, I want to see if you could hold up that 27 cent area of support. This is very key. If not then possibly you can get down to 26 cents and i was telling you guys this previously already when farming is below 28 cents i'm not a huge fan of it but i can see that many would take advantage of the opportunity while it is below 30 cents so they could take advantage of a potential run-up or a spike as far as where we've been seeing resistance for farming yes it's been right around that 31 cent level on the friday but one thing that i want to see i want to see farming get back to 33 cents once it's able to get back to 33 cents to start gaining some momentum we already know as far as resistance areas are concerned the next one will be right around 40 cents and of course i'm going to be looking to see that strong pop again if this place starts picking up momentum it could really have some nice moves and this is why i share it on the channel when we went on fintel taking a look at the short interest information we could see for the short volume ratio it has gone down but again, not surprising with the conditions that we have inside of the market. This is why when you go inside of these plays, you want to make sure that you're doing your homework and you're doing your due diligence. I know what you're saying, Dre, you say this in all your videos, but it is so key. The last thing that you want to do is just go in and blindly buy the stock, especially volatile stocks like these. So if you've been watching a lot of my videos, then of course, for your homework, when you see Farmy pulling back all the way to the 27 cent range, it could be an opportunity for you to consider and then take advantage for the next pop take advantage of the dips in certain plays i want to make sure that i emphasize that because again these plays will bounce you will see momentum and so forth but at the end of the day you're the one that needs to make sure you're picking the trades that'll give you the best opportunities to really crush it inside of the stock market so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon <music>